New York Governor Andrew Cuomo has actually done something good by calling for an FBI and New York hate crime investigation into Proud Boys violence. So this stems from an incident on Friday night when members of the Proud Boys right-wing hate group were caught on camera beating people and some of them were yelling homophobic slurs. And it was following a Proud Boys event hosted by their leader and notable dipshit, Gavin McGinnis. Now, let me show you a part of the attack that was caught on video. And this was posted to Twitter by Adam, uh, known as Left Kissed on Twitter, though I think this was actually shot by a member of the Proud Boys. Watch. Come on, guys, stop! 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 Now, it's hard to tell exactly what's going on in the video, but luckily there is a video, another video, of uh, one of the proud losers discussing how they just beat somebody up on the street. So, this video was since deleted, and I wonder why. Watch. <laughs> Dude, I had one of their fucking heads, and I was just fucking smashing it in the pavement. Oh, yes. I ripped that motherfucker's mask off and fucking kicked him right in the head. So there you have at least one of the idiots admitting that they assaulted somebody on the street. But luckily, the police arrested three people. And they were all the anti-fascist protesters. <laughs> None of the actual proud losers. So... Uh, since that happened, though, the NYPD tweeted this out, showing that they are still investigating. So uh, they tweeted out these images of some of the uh, proud losers with the tweet. We continue to investigate the violent incident on the UES on Friday night and need information regarding these persons of interest. No complaints have been filed. If you were the victim of a crime or have information about the incident, please call this number. And uh, New York Mayor Bill de Blasio followed it up by saying, the NYPD is fully investigating last night's attack involving the Proud Boys. If you know anything, the NYPD wants your help, New York Mayor Bill de Blasio said in a statement. Hate is never welcome in NYC, and we will punish those responsible, whether they throw punches or incited violence, to the fullest extent of the law. And Governor Andrew Cuomo tweeted this out, saying, Authorities must review these videos immediately and make arrests and prosecute as appropriate. Hate cannot and will not be tolerated in New York. Here's a message from a Queens boy to the so-called Proud Boys. New York has zero tolerance for your bullshit. And from Vice News, Cuomo speaking to a reporter Sunday evening questioned why the Metropolitan Republican Club had invited McKinnis to speak in the first place, given his proclivity for making racially charged, homophobic, and wildly sexist statements, and given the fact that the Proud Boys have been designated as a hate group by the Southern Poverty Law Center. Some prominent Proud Boys are also known to fraternize with white supremacists and neo-Nazis. Now, while most media outlets cover this based on the facts and the evidence shown, Fox News took it another way. Watch. We've been telling you about high-profile Democrats openly encouraging the politics of the mob, as some have called it. This is our next guest points out. The Trump administration is focusing on what Americans really care about, not mobs, 
But John. Yeah, here with more. Stuart Varney, host of Varney and Company on the Fox Business Network. You think, Stuart, are people sick of this? They don't want the, all this violence in the street? I don't think America likes violence in the street. Political violence has no place in America. We don't like it, and I think it'll work against the Democrats. I haven't seen a single leading Democrat say, hey, tone this down. Stop this mob rule. Stop this confrontation. I haven't seen a single Democrat do that. Yeah. <laughs> this is... This is Fox and Friends on Monday morning, completely ignoring the actual story, what actually happened on Friday night when members of a right-wing hate group, the Proud Losers, a.k.a. Proud Boys, assaulted a number of people. Just completely ignore it and then talk about, oh, the Democrats, the Democrats are inciting this violence. I haven't heard one Democrat talk about how they are, uh, they are pushing back uh, against this violence, this mob rule. Okay, <laughs> whatever. Um, just one last thing to show you here. And it's uh, the investigative work done by New York Antifa. So they actually uh, apparently have named many of the people that, that did the assault in this, uh, on, or on Friday night. So they tweeted out, Dox all your boys. Wouldn't be fun if we didn't include some action shots. Here are some proud boys engaging in a mob beatdown, including Dave J and Jeff Young. Hope whatever comes your way was worth that fourth degree. And uh, this next tweet, here's another proud boy who didn't make the group shot, but into Docs All Your Boys. Eric S uh, RSVP'd to Gavin's murder reenactment, but deleted his Facebook profile immediately following the attack. Oh, he also apparently lies about where he works. So there you go. New York Antifa doing investigative work that hopefully the NYPD picks up on. So while there is going to continue to be a lot of this, um, these fights in the street, a lot of assaulting, a, a lot of it, of course, done by these proud losers. There's also on the other side of that people fighting back and exposing these assholes for who they are.